Well, hey, gamers. Thanks for visiting the roadside attraction. That's the uh, best intro I got, and by God, I'm sticking to it. Let me walk you today. We're gonna got a new series going on here, new YouTube series, and today I'm hoping to play some Zomboid like you've never seen before. And by that, I mean, God, I am not used to the apocalypse mode in this game. Uh, I've always tried to play the survivor one. I find it more fun personally, but they got the multiplayer coming out soon. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get gummed, you know, being a Survivor Sally or something like that. So, uh, hopefully we're going to try to figure out how to actually survive the new combat. Uh, so to go for that, we're going to have a nice new character build, and it's going to follow this basic plan. Mox infection transfers by fluid changing. 1. Cover yourself in firefighter clothes. 2. Bites don't penetrate the flesh. Problems on voids. That's the plan anyway, but, uh, you know, things never seem to work out how you want in Zomboy, do they? But, uh, to this end, we're gonna be starting in Rosewood, because they got the fire station down at the, uh, what would be, Southwest Inverter Town. Nice, easy to find, and hopefully, uh, we can get that plan into motion. Only difference from Apocalypse Mode here is I have all the respawn hours turned off, just because, you know, Personally, I think it's better that when you clear out an area, it doesn't have a bunch of people spawn in on the road and you hit them while you're driving. Like, for fuck's sake, you know? Other than that, everything here is going to be stock. You know, still got the uh, meta event, still got the helicopter, all that jazz. Going on, this is the character we came up with here. I think he's going to do the job just fine. Going over his traits, high thirst. This trade is a joke, all right? It's just water, right? Like, uh, just drink, buddy. Think about it. That just uh, ain't after right. After that, we got overweight. And I'll be honest with you, I think early game, getting rid of the underweight for, like, things, probably a bit easier than getting rid of the overweight because all you have to do is, like, eat three jars of peanut butter in one day and, boom, you're gaining weight pretty quick. That said, it's a lot cheaper to lose weight. All you have to do is not eat. So, I mean, that's why we're going for that. Conspicuous because I'm gonna be honest here. I can't seem to sneak past these bastards anyway, so might as well double down. Hard of wearing, uh, hard of hearing. Sorry, gonna be honest here. I'm hard of hearing in real life, so you might as well double down. Hardy appetite here, sort of going over with the high thirst thing. I feel like once you get to a certain point in this game, you know, you got your rabbit, or radish patch, you know, got your cabbages, got your potatoes, got your tomatoes. At that point, you know, you're already probably set for food, so it's just going to be a bit of a harder early game, and you know what? We're already trying to double down, so, uh, checks out. Prone to illness. Now, here's something I don't actually notice, because if you think I'll sneak peek, don't tell anyone. We got outdoorsmen later on. So I wonder if those two sort of cancel each other out, where you're not going to get the illness from harsher weather, and so it'll only be from eating, like, rotten food. If you also look, we got weak stomach. So the plan is to not eat rotten food. I'm going to try my best, but you never know. After that, we got sleepy head because I'll be honest here, doesn't seem that bad. Played with it a couple times. You're already sleeping every day unless you're doing some bullshit. And when you're doing some bullshit, you're going to be not sleeping for days at end, like if you're trying to train burpees or whatever. So fuck it, throw it in. Smoker, this one's a joke, all right? You find like 300 darts in a fucking riverside shit like, uh, convenience center or whatever like this is a joke take it every time three four points clumsy I'm gonna be honest here i seem to get star like uh seen by the zombies every single time i play the game might as well double down and slow reader if you're reading books you're probably safe anyway so taking a bit longer not a problem now on to the good traits most of these are personal preference to be honest with you here uh cat size i find is really useful for you know just seeing at night like i mean why wouldn't you want to right Dexterous, this is, I'll admit, total quality of life with the Dexterous. All it does is make things faster to go in and out. You know, in some situations, maybe you can grab something off the floor and you wouldn't without it, but for the most part, just because I'm a lazy bastard. And you know what? Taking it every time, baby. Outdoorsman, like I said, this is mostly I just had a couple of free points. Like, fuck it, see if it cancels out the uh, prone to illness. <clears throat> Brave, we're actually playing. <laughs> I might have shown this earlier if I remembered engineer here so brave you know usually if you're playing like veteran or whatever you don't need brave because you already can't get panicked but uh i was hoping to try out pipe bombs at some point in this gameplay i've seen them on the wiki every now and then no fucking clue what they do but i mean you, you played left for dead right i mean they gotta be good you gotta be good anyway that's why we have brave because you're playing engineer following that up lucky 
just makes the game more fun when you get cool shit, hoping to get a machete or something like that, but you never know. Fast learner, like I said, machete, there's no uh, profession, occupation, or trait to boost learning with long blades, so fast learner's there, just got to hand out with that. Handy, this is a good trait all around, you know, faster, stronger constructions, what more do you want, and strong. I'm going to be honest, people who play with people, like, holy shit, they're addicted to these. How do you play this game with, like, a six carry weight? It just doesn't make sense. If you're able to, like, holy fuck, hats off to you, but I'm a big fan of grabbing the strong early on. And, uh, well, if you've seen the name at all down here, you already know what's coming up next. The Reckoning, Dwayne Tenney. Well, <clears throat> if you couldn't gather from his introduction, Dwayne Tenney is not the type of guy who takes shit from people. Hell, Dwayne Tenney isn't the type of guy who takes shit. And let me tell you, if you see him shitting once this playthrough, I'll eat my own words, but it's not going to happen. Now that we're in, we can actually start to play the game. <laughs> so, oh, look at this. I wanted to talk about this, actually. Here's something I picked up watching, uh, I think it was Cromulan Archer. But, uh, I'm not too sure. But, uh, these radios that are inside the cabinets, you can actually, uh, pick them up, place them, and sometimes they have the emergency broadcast, uh, channel, which, uh, I think it's automated, so, uh, it lasts longer than, like, the, uh, TV stations and whatnot. Speaking of the TV, let's get this bastard around. Already tuned in to Life and Living, things you'll love to see. Get that cook show. You know we're trying to get that bonus whenever we make fucking dry rice. <laughs> so, I actually know what part of Rosewood we're in, I think. We're in, like, the, uh, would that be south, uh, eastern part? We want to go west here. So, doesn't look like too many zomboids blocking us. This house is a fucking joke. Is that guy got a duffel bag? Look at this bastard. He thinks we're the fucking duffel bag, you stunned bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Get him on the fucking ground. Look, Dwayne. Boom. One and done. Already got a fucking duffel bag. And I didn't go over it. We also got a uh, water bottle right off the first house, which is pretty fucking sweet, too. Uh, like I was saying, though, this house here is a fucking joke. It's got, like, two empty cardboard boxes and just about nothing else in it. Don't even waste your time going in there, because half the time you'll get a fucking goddamn house alarm. So... Looking around here, I'm only seeing three, four, just about four zomboids. We'll check this way, actually. But, uh, we need to head this direction here, so we might as well start cleaning these guys out. I'm seeing a shovel on the floor, which would be very nice. We don't have to club these people in, fucking in with their goddamn shoes. Imagine getting your shoes shined after that. Your buddy just sees, like, some clumps of hair and some blood on it. Like, what do you do? Probably just uh, shine the shoe so you don't end up on it next, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Alright, so I'm going to be honest with you here. Uh, why don't we all just pretend I didn't already get a laceration, and uh, we'll just pretend like there isn't a 25% chance this playthrough is already dead. So we're getting a lot of them because I'm running around like an idiot here. But I would really... Oh, my fuck. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Come here, you bastards. Oh, fuck right off. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, with survival mode, you can hit multiple in a group. That's what I'm used to. So, you're probably cringing hard at how bad I am at the fucking combat. But you know what? Sur fucking sledgehammer from the first... Can you fuck me? There's a lot of these bastards, isn't there? Get on the fucking ground and stay down. Alright? That's what this is all about. Get on the fucking ground. <laughs> Can't even maintain a train of thought out here. Okay, there's still at least one alive. Oh, this guy. Is he under the car or something? Alright, so overall, I'd say that went pretty fantastic. Like, 
We got some leather gloves here, some military desert boots. We got a sledgehammer. I saw a saw and I think some duct tape a second ago. Necklace with a crucifix. Might as well throw that on. Jacket bloody. Condition's not too good, but I'm going to bet it beats in nothing. So I'm going to slap that on in a second here. What am I getting some actual jeans too? Because I'm just wearing the denim uh, shorts, you know. Maybe uh, <laughs> our guy here, our boy Dwayne uh, Tenney, might realize after that fight it's time to get some shorts on. Look at this. The saw going. Probably hum that in the duffel bag and uh, the shovel in there too. I don't think there's a key in this truck. I mean, we already got a sledgehammer thing, so clearly it's not afraid to give you a little extra. No, there is another pair of leather gloves I might take and some painkillers. All right, so the thing to keep in mind with the sledgehammer is that uh, it, you can't use it if you get too exhausted. And not like it's bad, like, you know, how you can beat someone to death with your foot, but it'll take, like, 80 swings. No, you can't use it. So, just got to keep that. Oh, my fucking, hey, how are you doing, buddy? Fuck right off. I believe the audacity of these zomboids these days, man, it's unbelievable. I'm pretty sure I just want to keep going to west. The fire station might be down there, but I think it's just this way. So, I'm going to keep walking down the main road here. We got just two bastards up ahead. Alright, come back in fucking two years, maybe you can get me with these guys. Like, honestly, get real zomboid. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, look at that. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I might start grabbing the red watch as you uh, increase the electronics later on. Oh, that's the self-storage place, isn't it? I mean, it might not be, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Oh, got some bastards. And I think this is the fire station just up here. Got a, get, got a game stutter. Sorry, I'm just focused in on this uh, one-on-two fight. You know we win those, baby. Dwayne Tenney. He's going all the way. Okay, we got one there, one there, two here. Bam! Look at that. Solid connection. Hammer to head. Then foot to head a few times after. Finish the job and BAM! Let me tell you something. Playing the Dwayne Strat, it might not be the best, but God, is it satisfying. Let's get this round neck spider on. A little extra bite protection. That's what it's all about. That's why we're starting in Rosewood in the first place. You don't know how many playthroughs of... You might be able to guess from how I'm playing how many playthroughs I've lost in, like, West Side, but, uh, excessive exertion. Hmm. That's a problem. Alright, let's head back. Uh, <laughs> I guess our pathway of destruction. Uh, oh, hold on. A bit hungry. I'm not too concerned with losing weight right now. There's gonna be plenty of time later, and so we'll just eat half a tub of ice. Can you fuck right off and try to eat here? Uh, is it just him? No, oh, he's got a teammate. Okay. What in the fuck? <laughs> what in the goddamn? You see that guy? Just do like a full on face flip there. Man, that was impressive. Imagine if you could do that in real life. Just fucking. I don't know how much momentum you need to be able to get from just laying down. But that was a pretty slick move. I mean, I'm not going to deny it. So, I guess that is. Oh, why are you guys outside my house? Seriously, we already did the fucking fight for the house bit. Get with it, man. Okay, now those sledgehammers are really starting to be bad. Probably got home just in time. If we took one or two more fights, we... See, look at that! I can't swing. Oh, I can't even use my boot with that. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll just wait. <laughs> this is a bit awkward. I can't, I can't attack them because I'm too exerted, but... They can't attack me because I'm standing... Oh, okay, we got another zomboid down there. I guess we'll just wait a bit? Can I sit on the ground safely? Because if I can, I might just speed up the video a bit until I kill this person and we can move on. Because I'm not sure what else to do here. I guess we could change our rag. <laughs> Fucking new chair, guys. Rate it real quick, would you? <laughs> Uh, okay. It's excessive now, instead of, uh, whatever it was a second ago. Yeah, look at that. One club in your head and nothing personal, kid. They broke my window and everything, you fucking dicks. I'm pretty sure I left one of them open for you. 
Oh, here's the thing here. You see these uh, single like love seats? They're an average quality bed. You don't even need any tools to pick them up. You can just slap them down in most rooms. So, just worth keeping that in mind. And I didn't leave one of the windows open. I might have left the door, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess just take a nice little sleepy poo here. <laughs> we know where the fire station is, though. So, everything's looking good to get this job done. Oh, we missed a show there. Oh, if you're wondering, so the shows, there's a cooking show right in the morning at about 6. Uh, woodwork and show at noon. That's a really good one to find. Uh, then there's like a fishing or a survival one at uh, 6 p.m. And then I think there's like an infomercial at midnight, uh, which doesn't really do much for you. That's on the Life and Living channel. I don't know. The rest of them give you lore, but no uh, actual benefit for your survival, I don't think. Don't take that with a grain of salt. You know, I only have like 100 hours, so I'm not uh, speaking the gospel here. But that's what I'm pretty sure is how it works look at that see Dwayne he just carves a path in the road gets the oh my fuck that's a lot they coming for me you guys want a piece huh I mean, this is the fire station here so we're gonna want to take them out anyway and that's one hit you're done come back in 10 years that's one hit that's a shove that's two I think we got a one hit Nelly over here. Look at that. Oh, okay, now there's some flint. <laughs> uh, throw that in the duffel bag. They're a bit hungry. Eat the rest of that ice cream. Take a look around. This is the guy we want. Now, it's nice about a sledgehammer. Because uh, I think with the blunt weapons, you have a smaller chance to rip up clothing. Whereas if you go in with a machete, uh, it does a lot of damage, but it's probably going to rip them up. So let's get this bastard over here because I want your clothes hand them over you can fuck right off <laughs> one tap dude not bad and this guy's got a rip but we'll probably take a back up just in case let's see here yeah uh, okay you fire fire helmet yep that jacket's a bit worn out but the pants are good let's see because this guy i think the pants were bad but the jacket was good yeah all right look at this look at that Look at that protection. I mean, we're missing a shoe. So let's throw on a different pair of boots. But look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Now you can actually play the fucking game and have a chance. <laughs> I mean, if you're better than me, and you probably are, you're going to be able to sneak past a lot of these fights. You don't need to take every single one. But uh, I don't know. This is probably the strategy for me going on. We'll get a spare set. And... I guess we might as well raid the fire department. I figured we'd have to kill a lot more to get to this point. How many I even... We only killed 28 zombies. We already got the best... At least I think the best clothing in the game. The helmet probably could be better. Like, uh... In a different playthrough, I got a riot gear helmet once. But other than that, I only got one bastard in here. Listen, I don't lose sleep. Fucking sleep over one zomboid, buddy. Figured it out. <laughs> Old boxes. Okay, that's nice. We already have a saw, but this guy has a uh, better pants, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, what if I do this? Nice. They're trying to break in some... Oh, fucking... See, this is what I'm talking about with cat's eyes. Usually in this fight, you'd be fucking slinging blind here, but instead, you know, we have a bit of a chance. Probably bunk out in the upstairs area today. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Stay down. I was going to say you'll live longer, but that's not really true, is it? <laughs> uh, propane tank. Lighter, not bad. We need to find some dirt soon. Don't know if you'd find those in a fire station, man. We might want to go to like a store. Unless you find some in someone's locker. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest. The pipe wrench is kind of a joke. Like, The normal wrench can do everything the pipe wrench can't, but... Uh, I mean, with that said, we don't have a normal wrench, so I'll grab one in case I need to take a sink out or something. You never know. You really never know. And we might grab... I think there's some... Yeah, this is it. We've got the infirmary here, so we can grab some alcohol wipes. Disinfectant bottle, me, painkillers, vitamins. Uh, it's a suture needle. Oh, I wouldn't mind a suture needle itself in case you get a deep wound. Uh, beta blockers. Those are good if you're not a veteran. You might need those. 
Ah, uh, suture needle, nice. Heck yeah, I think that's everything we need. <clears throat> now, I forget if there's already a chair upstairs or if we need to bring one up. I'm sure we'll find out, but we also have to get rid of this guy who's banging on the door or else we're gonna have problems later on. And that's up here as well. Is it just one? Okay, well, I hear a second one somewhere. Let's deal with this guy now. There's actually beds up here, which is pretty based. Uh, okay, this firefighter jacket we don't need. Because it's got a hole in it somewhere. This one's looking good, though. I wonder where all the lights are. Hopefully the power's in the already. You need to just fucking figure it out, man. That was not a solid plan through and through. Get these bandages off here real quick. Probably clean off the dirty ones here. You know what I do wonder, actually, is, um... Just thinking out loud here, but, like, let's say you got blood all over your gloves. As we said earlier with the, uh... Perfect troll logic. The zombie virus in this game is spread through fluid contact, at least for you, right? So if you're wearing like dirty clothing or your face is covered in blood, you think there might be a chance you accidentally just like get some in your eye or your mouth and then you're fucked, right? Eat. Oh, fucking look at this pack of darts. We love to see that. Uh, oh, it's in the wrong spot. Get these other pack of darts. But you see what I'm saying, right? You think there'd be some sort of like. Uh, serious health risk with being covered in this fucking zombie blood that can, you know, turn you into a zomboid. You wouldn't really want to do it. I think the chemophobic trait's probably pretty justified in this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess there's more important shit to worry about than, uh, you know, in-depth look at how the blood mechanics work, though. Yeah. <laughs> this game, it's, it's one of my favorites. You know, it's up there in the Rim World and Stellaris tier, so. I guess you can give them a pass for not, uh, programming a fucking full-on in-depth human body immune system quite yet. Uh, 2 a.m. Might as well take a snooze. But so far, for first couple of days, full firefighter out. You fuck right off. Who the fuck? I'm trying to sleep here. It's a bit rude to break down the fucking... You know these guys aren't paying their part of the lease right now. Want a fucking piece? Glad you got me out of bed for that. Figure it the fuck out. <laughs> I think they're breaking into the downstairs uh, garage sort of area there. Because they've been knocking on our door for a long time. It hasn't come down yet. But if you're wondering why I'm not too worried about there being a massive horde. It took them like... They're still trying to break that door. If there was like 10 of them, those doors break in an instant. So this is just some bastard who's trying to fucking cause some bullshit. But this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. You can actually have a chance to play the game. You're not going to instantly die. <laughs> um, which I think, if you're trying to, you know, come off from the Survivor to the Apocalypse Mode 2 with the different uh, combat, not being able to hit multiple opponents, this is probably the go-to way to play. Because you just get the armor quick, you get in, you get out... And you get away with it. As long as this doesn't uh, give you the virus. <laughs> you might get away with it. You got good odds of getting away with it. So what do we need now? Oh. Sounds like a bastard's chasing me. Yeah! Look at that. Heard of here in my ass. We figured you out pretty quick, didn't we? So I don't think there's a hardware store in uh, Rosewood. So I guess we're going to go... We need to find uh, an axe... Uh, we already have a sledgehammer, so I have a plan that's going to take place in Riverside. I don't want to give too much away, because if I die, I mean, I'm going to just probably try again. <laughs> but um, we already have a sledgehammer, and that was a vital part of the plan, but we probably want an axe just to get wood if we need more. We already have a saw. We're going to need a hammer. Uh, there's going to be food there, so we don't have to worry about that. Power would be nice. We already have uh, one electricity, so... We could try to um, get mechanics up to two if you want a hot wire. Probably be easier just to find one for now. Already got a saw. So I guess let's go raid a couple of garages. <laughs> Why not? 
Oh, I actually know there's some houses above this fire station, like to the north, uh, with garages, because I've tried this a couple times. Mistake was I wasn't playing as Dwayne Penny. The Reckoning. Uh, Fatal Flaw. I bet this happens to most players. I don't know. The Dwayne meta. It's new. It's fresh. It's gonna be, when people figure it out, everyone's gonna be doing Dwayne meta. But, uh, for now, we're sort of just the first to figure this one out. Look at that. Clean hit to the fucking dome, too. Not too shabby. This guy, sorry to say, he really didn't have the makings of a varsity athlete. <laughs> I hope someone gets that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Listen, you just saw what happened to the last five. Like, think about it for a second. You could wait for you have fucking any tactical advantage at all before you shamble over like some drunk bastard. Usually there's... Oh, there they are. At least one of them. Usually there's, like, huge groups in this fire station. I don't even know if I need to... Okay, I am going to need to fight this guy. I don't know if I need to fight that guy, though. And then... Yeah, here are the places I'm talking about. There's some garages in this neighborhood. Uh, in her that garage. And the main game plan is, uh, I don't know if you guys ever played Hotline Miami 2, but uh, there's a character that starts off with, like, dual machine guns, but uh, when he runs out of ammo, you know, it's a candle burns twice as bright, burns half as long sort of situation. That's what this character really is. You know, he gets in and he does a lot of damage, but uh, he runs out of endurance quick, and using the sledgehammer definitely isn't helping. Is there one of these guys chasing me? Fuck that sound. Jesus fucking, you know what? This house can fuck right off. I don't want that smoke. You gotta pick your battles still. You can take a lot more battles with this build, but you see like 80 zombies out in the front driveway. They're zomboys. <laughs> Zeds. You just, why would you take that fight, you know? Like these guys, two people in a house. This is my house now. Yeah, thanks for fucking taking care of me so far. Eighty. And uh, one of the unfortunate things about this area is... Holy fucking... That's a lot of gamers. Oh shit, I'm gonna try my ass. I don't want to run out of endurance in here. But the bedroom... Why is there so many? Are you guys having a fucking shindig? These guys... They were not following the lockdown rules, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> Uh, trust me, don't look into the timeline for that to make sense. It checks out. Uh, yeah, I don't want that huge group to see me. Because I don't know about our odds of taking them all out. And the bedroom is upstairs. Decent supply of food. I think that'll be enough. Probably don't need the chicken, actually. Uh, yeah, they're all right there. Uh, you know what I could do? Yeah, this is going to be a bit gamer. Look at this. Pick up the chair. Slap her in here. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. We rest and speed up time a bit. Exertion's going down. We'll be able to take a few. Oh, but we're getting drowsy. Shit. Well, I didn't hear anyone fucking making moves. Might as well just sleep here. Well, I could have had a neck pain. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and you know what? I think we're running a bit low on time here, so we might just try to kill this group outside, raid the garage, and then call that for the first episode. Uh, I mean, I'm talking big. Let's see if I can actually manage to do that without getting Dwayne killed. Huh. Eh, it's not the carpentry shot. I don't really care about getting the fishing points, to be honest with you. Oh, the garage is over here. Fucking A rights it is. I wonder if that group moved at all. Uh, looks like it did. Hey, uh, just this is the first episode, so if the music is like at all loud or if I need to turn the sound effects off, I'm gonna be looking into that while I'm doing the editing, so uh, just know that that'll get better. Look at that, just one tap that guy for the joke. Uh, pack of darts, always welcome. Might as well read Engineering Magazine. Uh, a couple of nails, lighter. Uh, let's do one more. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. <laughs> that's how it goes, isn't it? Shit, that's nothing. Fucking hell. Looks like they didn't see me though. 
Oh shit, gas can. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna have to make some choices. Uh, pipe wrench, I can fuck off. We don't need that. Uh, alcohol wipes. These weigh the same. You gotta assume there's more use with the disinfectant. Are the same. You probably don't need both. Uh, if her character wasn't already overweight, I'll be honest, I'd probably just slam down a thing of butter, but uh, maybe not this time. I do want the spare set of clothes, so why don't we just move some stuff to our main inventory? Like uh, nails, we might want that. Might want the bottle of disinfectant on hand, might want the painkillers, the uh, all this shit. Might want that just on hand. Then we just need point zero one more weight, huh? There, good enough. And now if we find a car with a key, we'll be able to just head right out. And I think that's going to be a good place to call it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, see you next time.